Welcome back, everybody. This is Crypto Espresso, your daily shot of crypto news. Today is Friday, November 19th, and first up, Bitcoin is at the lowest level in a month as fear is growing. The Crypto Fear and Greed Index is flashing a score of 34, indicating there is fear among investors, with some crypto analysts anticipating a pullback to 52 to 53,000 as Bitcoin suffers its sixth consecutive day of declining prices. A group of cryptocurrency enthusiasts have failed in their audacious bid to buy a rare copy of the U.S. Constitution. Constitution DAO, a decentralized autonomous organization, had been quite confident about winning the auction. A flurry of bids meant that the copy of the U.S. Constitution, which was printed back in 1787 and is just one of 13 in existence, ended up selling for $43.2 million. The NFT Bay, both in name and appearance, has been inspired by the Pirate Bay, a notorious torrenting platform. The NFT Bay currently boasts more than 15 terabytes of images, allowing visitors to download JPEGs of unique tokens in mass without having to right-click on every single one. Users can search for specific NFTs that they're looking for or filter results based on popular collections, including Board API Club and CryptoPunks. A fintech company called Mode had made a big splash when it announced plans to offer Bitcoin cash back on purchases at dozens of major UK retailers. But in the hours that followed, Mode's news release started to slowly unravel, with several top brands denying reports that they were going to be involved. Indeed, over the London Stock Exchange, shares of mode surged by over 16% on the news. But in a dramatic bombshell, Boots and Akado, two of the British retailers name-checked in the announcement, denied claims that they were even involved. The UK's advertising watchdog has confirmed that it is launching an investigation into Floki Inu ads seen across London's transport network. Wales should follow in El Salvador's footsteps by embracing Bitcoin as legal tender, a local politician said. Councillor Will Thomas believes that the cryptocurrency has the potential to underpin the world's financial system one day and is calling on the country to become an early adopter. Speaking to Wales Online, he said, The cryptocurrency industry is still a wild west. Bitcoin is different to this. With some arguing against this point, the fact that Bitcoin is not anchored by a government means that it is susceptible to wilder swings in value and ultimately has the potential to collapse. Gemini has big metaverse plans after $400 million raise. Speaking of the publication, Cameron and Tyler Winklevoss, the co-founders of Gemini, revealed that the exchange plans to go toe-to-toe with Zuckerberg on the metaverse. The twins famously won a multi-million dollar settlement from Facebook after alleging that the idea for the social networking site had been stolen from them. Cameron told Forbes, there's these two parallel paths in terms of technology right now. There's a centralized path like Facebook or Fortnite that is one step away from being a metaverse, and that's totally fine. But there is another path, which is the decentralized metaverse, and that's the metaverse where we believe there's a greater choice, independence, and opportunity. And there's a technology that protects the rights and dignity of individuals. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, make sure to ask Alex in the description below, and also make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to not miss out on another video. So anyways, guys, have a great weekend. We'll see you later.